Autolog Showroom is an automotive inquiry management system designed to work in the real world. It's a web-based system that allows you to access it from anywhere in the world as long as you've got access to a PC and an internet connection. After logging in through the customizable login screens, you first see a very simple main menu take, made up of six very clearly labelled buttons. The first button, New Inquiries, where you log the details of people who might be interested in buying cars. Search Inquiries, looking up people that you've already been talking to and you can search them by their existing vehicle details or their name or their address and other factors like this and the showroom log which sits at the heart of Autolog showroom where you can see what's going on with regard to the number of inquiries you've taken today or this week and so on and so forth remind yourself of the people you've been talking to recently or as a manager get a clear overview of what's happening within the showroom the report generator to allow you to pull out specific tailor-made reports to target existing customers or inquiries Manufacturer leads button, where this is appropriate and it's been connected up to a manufacturer, uh, we can take leads in from other central lead management systems, uh, as in the case in the UK with Mazda Motor Company, the Mazda LMS system which we operate is fully integrated with Autodog Showroom and allows those leads that have been passed to the dealer network and managed in an appropriate fashion. And then administration allows each user to personalise the system to some extent to their own tastes, at the same time as allowing management control and changing users. And the only areas I want to concentrate on today are what sits behind the new inquiries button and all of what goes on behind the showroom log. The showroom log is designed to be a direct replacement to the traditional paper-based logs that many salesmen already keep today. The idea here is that you can see at a glance how many inquiries you've had, what the current status of those inquiries are, which of your sales staff are, are, are taking those inquiries and are intending to follow them up and which ones don't seem to be intending to follow those inquiries up, who's done lots of test drives, who hasn't, so on and so forth. Obviously the new inquiry button is where it all starts. But I don't want to dwell on that too much, I just want to give you a quick insight to that. And over here it's worth mentioning we've got the My Inquiries ongoing button which clicks through to just the inquiries that relate to me personally for the people that I'm talking to that have not yet bought a car from me and I have not officially given up on and marked as a no sale. As I mentioned earlier, the system is like many other systems in as much as designed to capture information, encourage sales staff to follow an appropriate sales procedure and ensure that customers are followed up and uh, they buy cars as often as possible. But we do do it in an unusual way. We also take the view that you can't always get the information you want very instant that you first speak to a customer. So what I do is go into the new inquiry screen and the new inquiry form simply lets me record details of what sort of inquiry this is. Now it knows that I am demo user, so it would have my name as a salesperson listed here. I can tell the system that this was a face-to-face -face or perhaps a phone-in type contact. If I've established it already, I can say that I know this came from the local TV advert. Record the customer's name and whether this is a retail or business type inquiry. The vehicle details of what the customer's perhaps looking to buy are generally recording the information of what they want to buy. I can set this up to default to a particular manufacturer to speed up the process of filling the form in. If I want to pre-qualify the customer, I, I can record details of what their budget is, how much they hope to get for the pilot exchange and this sort of thing. And down the right hand side here, I've got various buttons that allow me to record details of the trade-in, a vehicle that's been test driven or the customer intends to test drive. Nothing unusual here you might think, but what is unusual is I can record any of this in any order that I like, or even none of it, and it'll still log an inquiry against me, the demo user, or Lenny the salesman. So the salesman needs only to touch this screen and then print a piece of paper that he needs on demand without any hassle or aggravation. That piece of paper will allow him to capture the rest of the information, go outside in the sunshine and talk to the customer and find out more details about what he wants to buy and has he got something to trade in and a bit more details about what that is. Hopefully before the salesman does that, he'll get the customer's name, maybe their address details. The computer helps with that with the quick address lookup facility. It also allows us to record all sorts of notes and at time and date stamps them. Or if it's all going to start with the trade-in, we can click on this button here. And immediately that I clicked on the button, the system will record the fact that the salesman's speaking to somebody. I can fill in the details either by using the drop-downs or I can simply type in the boxes available to record the details of the car and the condition. 
I can also make notes about the condition, saying for example it has a dent on this wheel arch, continue to build up a picture of the condition of the vehicle. I can make a note of how much money we offer the customer for his vehicle. And if I was a manager, I've got a hidden standing allowance um, figure which I've got access to that tells me what I really think the car is worth as opposed to what we're going to offer the customer today. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with the details of that. It's a trade-in part exchange appraisal document which again can be printed on demand. The salesman very quickly realised that it's better to fill in some of this detail and then print it and capture the rest with a pen rather than just simply printing a blank one. But fundamental to the idea that sits behind Orthodox Showroom if the salesman simply needs to print one of these documents in order to capture this information along with the customer's name and he doesn't feel he's in a position to fill any of it in yet then it will allow them to do so. The idea here is that at least you know as a manager that the salesman has started to do something with the customer. You know which desk to go to to talk to Lenny about the details of the inquiry that he had at 11 o'clock this morning that he doesn't seem to have recorded on the computer in any great detail. But at least you know to have that conversation because the system has ordered to the fact that Lenny has spoken to somebody who seemed to have been a uh, a face-to-face -face inquiry who was looking to buy a Mazda and he had some sort of car to trade in. In fact, it was a Cadillac. The rest of the details can be recorded later if necessary. Now, what actually happens within a few hours, let alone days, weeks or months, sales will start to fill in lots of this detail voluntarily. You don't need to force them to do so. If you feel it is important to force them to fill in some specific questions like was this a new or used vehicle inquiry, then within the management settings, in the admin section, you can set the system up to force them to do that and that's why this item has got a red star beside it. If there's a test drive and the salesman wants to get the customer to sign a document to say that they have been for driving a particular car, they can click this button here and then be presented with a test drive form that can record the details of the car that the customer is interested in, maybe going for driving and then you've got an audit trail of who was going for what drives with what customers and, and, and so on. Obviously you can record details of the offer that was made to the customer, how much money to change, was it on finance and this sort of thing, book follow up next actions and if this is in fact an opportunity to do business with an existing customer you've got a button here that will tell you all about the existing deal. What you might not have noticed is that these labels all come with a description of what's behind the button. There is at least one part exchange so it's worth clicking on this button to see the details. There's currently no test drives booked, so there's no point in clicking the button, and it follows this through all the way down. If there should be an next action scheduled and there isn't, it highlights it in red. These simple facts lie at the heart of Autodog Showroom. But all the way through, the sales staff are supported with the ability to print the piece of paper they need on demand without any hassle, record the details of what they do know when they know it. The sales system, Autodog Showroom, will help them by giving them additional information if it's available. The fact that this customer had been in in the past will show up within the system and the user will be prompted to recognise the fact that this customer had been in six weeks ago speaking to a different salesperson. So I've created an inquiry there. It says I should be looking to have some sort of follow-up action and I'm actually going to cancel that and say no, I don't want to. You might think that's a dangerous thing to do. If I now go into the showroom log, here in my little demonstration setup, 